Right now at five, millions of people are getting ready to travel for the Thanksgiving holiday. But take a look at this mess at Denver International Airport. Hundreds of flights canceled, which is having a ripple effect across the country, really. Meanwhile, we're just learning that St. Pete Clearwater International Airport canceled seven flights related to that storm today. But the big warning from PIE right now is the construction around that airport. ABC Action News reporter Darren Botello joins us live at the airport. And Darren, officials are asking passengers to show up extra early, right? That's right. And it's a little slow right now. Not too many people, but airport officials say prepare because that could change at any time. We got here on um, a little less than two hours before and there wasn't a wait, but unfortunately our plane is delayed now. Still, Marcus Hosh says he's glad he and his family took an Uber here early. It makes it a lot more convenient instead of having to deal with all the traffic and all that kind of stuff when you're um getting ready to travel. Mark Sprague, deputy director for the airport, says getting a ride to and from the airport and arriving two hours early are both good ways to make sure you don't miss your flight with all the barricades and blocked off areas as more shops and parking spaces are added at Pi International. Parking is definitely the big one right now. We currently have just about 2,100 spots when the end of this project, which will be approximately February of 2020. We'll have an additional thousand. Otis Sui drove to the airport with his rental car, dodging traffic and construction, but he says it doesn't look too bad, at least for now. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say it's probably a 5 or a 6. But, you know, it's fairly busy but steady. Uh, it does seem like the employees here have got it under control pretty well. Well, good luck to them tomorrow, for those that are here. Hopefully I'm not one of them. Back out live, airport officials expect tomorrow to be the busiest day between the hours of 6 a.m. and 4 p.m. Live in Clearwater, Darren Botello, ABC Action News.